Well, it's time for another garden tour. I've been trying to uh, have these tours about every two weeks so you can kind of see some bigger changes in the garden. Let's see, I uh, made some changes around our herb garden, trying to take out some of the grass. And I actually planted some elderberries in there and some calendula flowers in that pot. Of course, we have a bunch of uh, mixed perennial flowers that I have going along the fence here. And our herb garden is looking great. So let's see, we've got basil, chives, it's like a creeping rosemary, oregano, some more basil, more basil, and you can see that I'm not sure what happened here. There was a little bit of shock in both this basil and this one at the planting, but the new leaves coming in are looking great, so I think it'll be okay. And then tarragon, we actually were planning on planting some thyme, but I couldn't find any. Dill sage which is looking really cool and smells wonderful so next one up is kind of our strawberry bed and they are looking so beautiful and look at all the berries we have some celery growing here I did have two of them one of them died off and this one doesn't even really look like it's growing so doesn't look like the uh, the testing that I was doing earlier if you saw some of my previous videos is really working well but we'll leave it as long as it stays green and in the place of the other um, celery I planted comfrey and it came it kind of looks all wilty and terrible right now but that's what it came it came in um, I don't know what they call it but you get the roots instead of a seed and actually, it's perked up a lot. I just planted this yesterday and there's already new growth and it's standing up. Um, comfrey is really good for like deep pain. You can make some salves out of it. Um, I've never done that before, but I want to. And then, let's see, look at uh, my lettuce bed. It is looking lovely. We are going to actually probably harvest some tonight after the sun goes down for a salad. So you can see the, this is um, uh, romaine and then some kind of butter, lettuce, and then of course purple. And then it just kind of repeats itself. Looking really nice. Um... We have some more perennial flowers along the edge. And then look at all the plants. This is probably all new for, for you um, since the last time I did a garden tour. You see the onions are still looking good, but all of the tomatoes are in. And just today, I haven't cleaned all, everything up yet, is all the peppers. So let's go in and I'll uh, name off all the peppers that I got going on here and tomatoes. So these first six are peppersinis. These are all stuff that I grew from seed and had in the house. Some of them are looking a little droopy. Hopefully they'll get over it. These four are Fresno peppers. I've been making hot sauce out of those and so we decided to grow some. It makes delicious hot sauce, way too hot for me, but Daniel swears by, he says it's the, some of the best hot sauce he's ever ate. Um, cayenne peppers here. This one was looking really wonderful. And I, while they were in the house and getting hardening off, I, uh, 
was plucking all of the peppers off of it, but, um, and I know you're supposed to pluck them off when you transplant them, so they kind of put more of their energy down into the roots, but there were so many on this one and on a couple others that I just felt bad doing that, but I might have to come around and do that. We'll see. So let's see. Um, all of these tomatoes along the fence line are all vining tomatoes. Honestly, I don't remember what they were called. I'd have to go in and uh, see what the names are. Um, you can see these three holes along here. That's actually going to be some more calendula. And calendula is good for like a salve on... Oh, whoa! Did you guys see the hummingbird? <laughs> it might have been on the camera. Um, but anyways, calendula is a really beautiful orange flower that once it's bloomed, you can um, cut and dry and then make into a salve that um, helps with um, skin irritations or, or like burns and stuff like that. The comfrey is good for the deep pain. Um, so when making a salve for that one, that's good for, um, well, they say like broken bones, stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna be going to the hospital if I have broken bones, <laughs> um, but deep aches. Um, these are determinant here. These three, six, nine, and then a couple over there, so about 11 determinants. So those are the bush variety. So they just get kind of, they won't be putting on fruit all season. They basically just get about three feet tall and then they all bloom at once. It's great for canning because then you get all of your tomatoes all at once for canning, even though it's probably a little bit overwhelming. I have never grown determinant tomatoes, so we'll see how that works. I have a couple tomatillas. I've never grown tomatillas either. Their flowers are so cute. Look at the color on those. They're doing really well. Um, I do have, so all these ones, the vining ones that I have along the fence there are kind of just a slicer, red slicer size. And then I have a couple of them back here. But what I do have is some kind of special ones. Like this is, um, I don't know the name of it, but it's a black tomato. Um, actually, it's written on this tag, so. However you say that. <laughs> but it's a black or dark red tomato with like black stripes. I have, I planted sunflower seeds or some big sunflowers in between each of these. This is a uh, tigerella. So it's uh, like a red with like orange striping, if I remember correctly. And then back here, this one is a green zebra. It's green, um, obviously. <laughs> with like dark green stripes. And then, what have we got back here? Beets, I've never grown beets before. Let's see how that works. A bunch of cabbages. We did harvest the broccoli yesterday just because I was concerned they were gonna bolt. The, uh, the heads were starting to loosen up a little bit. Usually don't have a lot of luck with uh, growing broccoli in the springtime. But it was kind of nice because it's the first time I've ever actually been able to harvest my own broccoli. It's always bolted before I could. They were pretty small. It was only one meal for all of us, but it was kind of cool. So planted in these first four spots are beans. They're like a, I think it's called Vortex. We planted them before, both sides. One just popped up right here, you can see. They've been coming up really slow, so I'm concerned. So I'm actually gonna maybe reseed some of these and actually might put some in between each of these because it looks like they can actually be a lot closer than what I have them spaced at right now. Um, cucumber down in here. Looks like something ate that one. Again, I've been spraying, but something really, really likes cucumber around here. So this one I managed to save. So this is like a slicer and pickling 
combo one, so they don't get really big, but they're great for eating and pickling. You can see some side shoots coming up. So we might be able to eat some, and I know the leaves, you can eat the leaves too. Never done that before, but I hear you can. So cabbage, it's starting to harden up here in the middle. Again, I don't know whether they're gonna make it all the way. I don't know if uh, cabbage tends to stop growing or anything like that if it gets too hot. Hopefully not, but snow peas. These are the ones that got ate by the rabbit. They're looking really good on this side. I did replace the, the ones that were over here just because they weren't doing well. And this is a sun gold cherry tomato. And this of course is all in this trellis area. All right, so that's the main garden. I could have probably changed the spacing on my tomatoes and maybe put a little bit more in, but we'll see how it works this year. And I can always change things up for next. Let's go over to this corner. So Daniel and I have been doing a lot of work over here. Our huge compost pile right now. But see, either acorn or spaghetti squash here, not sure. Same thing here. I don't remember which one's for which. Um, huge pumpkin spot here. I'll have plenty of uh, place to grow. And then blueberries. It's called Duke variety. And raspberries. Now we had a little bit of an accident a couple weeks ago where our son mowed back here and I didn't have this fence on it. He didn't really realize that there was berries growing back here. So he mowed them down, but they're coming back up. Um, they're kind of an invasive species anyways, so it's not a big deal. Um, you're supposed to cut them down to the ground anyways at the end of the season and they come back and they're doing really well for being mowed down just like two weeks ago. Anyways, that's it. We'll say goodbye from Copper.